Hello there, just wanted to give you a quick update on our Bike Gen 2 project that I've been working on. Um, for those of you who know me personally, I've been able to dedicate 100% of my time um, to Bike Gen 2 for the last two months, um, and we've made some great progress and subject to funding. Um, I'm hoping to be able to continue to do that. Uh, while we're on it, I just want to give a big shout out to anybody that's donated to Demo Missions, our small family run charity based in the US. Um, it's been your partnership or your donations um, that's actually helped us to start getting some of these units out the door to people that need them the most. Um, as a family, we've got contacts around the world through previous work that we've done um, and communities where we can send these to um, and we know that people are going to use them and look after them and um, yeah, administer them properly. However, we're only a small charity and we're limited in that sense and really the idea, the idea that I had for Bike Gen 2 um, was to try to get as many of these generators out to people that need them. Uh, but not just that, to be able to um, actually administer them properly. It's actually quite easy to make something like that, uh, like this. This is the easy bit. Um, the hard part is the distribution, the administration, um, training people to use it properly and then training people to look after them and keep them securely. So one of the things I started to look at was charities that are already involved with um, sending bikes out into communities around the world and there's actually quite a few um, charitable organisations where that is all they do, that's what they're focused on. They send bikes out to communities, they recycle bikes from um, the UK, the US, wherever um, and they make them fit for purpose um, and then they send them to places where people need that transport. And so for me, I thought with Bike Gen 2, if we're providing transport um, for people, what a great sort of concept, and it just goes hand in hand to help people to be able to power their uh, mobile devices um, and USB battery banks and things like that. So what I've done is I've started contacting um, various charities that are involved with that. And I'm really pleased to announce that um, we are partnering with three um, pretty big charities that are involved with that. Um, Recycle, which is based here in the UK, Working Bikes and the Village um, Bicycle Project that are both based in the US. And what we've started to do is working together, we've sent some of our units over to the directors of the NGOs that they partner with in a variety of different countries um, and actually kind of introduce the concept of Bike Gen 2, um, train them on how it works and how to use it, um, with the idea being that they can then train their staff and the staff can then go out into communities and train people how to use it, look after it properly and maintain it. So um, it's really important with projects like this that you don't just focus on building something, you've got to be able to have every step of the way, um, everything lined up so that you can get from the point of building something to the point of it actually being used by the people um, that it's intended to benefit. And so, um, you know, through this and through this relationship, we're able to do that. I mean, I can also say from a fundraising perspective that for 250 pound, you know, within sort of UK distribution here, um, we can get one of these units out into the field um, that's $300 US and actually get it into the hands of people that need it the most but not just not just into somebody's hands but in terms of it being used by people who have been trained to understand how it works and, and how to maintain it. Um, I'm just totally stoked um, in two months we've gone from being able to send to sort of people we have personal relationships with which obviously is always going to be a limited number um, to really being able to hit out in, into communities around the world. Uh, at the moment, um, we have bikes, uh, bike generators going to Uganda, Ukraine, um, Sierra Leone. We'll have them going to Zambia, Gambia, South Africa, um, Ghana. Um, there's, there's more besides, but um, we are actually now in a place where you know, we'll start looking to raise funds so that once people are trained up to use these generators, that following on from that, we can send more um, so we can actually put them out into communities. So I've gone from sort of uh, furiously building these things and, and shipping out uh, 
our examples, our trials, our field, field trials um, to um, both the people that, that we have personal relationships with and to these charities as well. And so my next mission is to kind of become a full-time fundraiser um, and to put more stuff out on social media because I'm conscious I've spent a lot of time building these things and, and getting them where they need to go. Um, but I probably haven't really shown the full potential of what this is capable of. Um, it's really cool. Um, it's not just a, a, an electric generator, it's also a, a, a water pump and you can move pretty high volumes of water really quickly. There's loads of extra bits and pieces that I want to do with it, um, you know, providing I can give uh, my full attention to it. Um, so I guess where I'm going from after today, um, some of my next things to do is I'll be setting up Cycle Gems as a charity in the UK and the reason for that is that it basically means that we can also um, apply for funding here in the UK, we can also do crowdfunding here in the UK um, and it just makes sense to be able to raise funds both here in the UK and overseas in the US. Um, in the US, um, companies have tax breaks for making charitable donations. Um, £250, $300 US is quite a lot of money. Um, so what I've been really looking to do is to kind of hit up companies that might be interested in sponsoring one of these uh, units and getting them out into the field. Because what we can now say is for X amount, we can build, we can um, send, and we can train, and we can deliver to the people who it's meant to benefit. And um, I just think that it's an awesome strategy going forward. It's a linear progression, and um, I'm totally stoked that we've been able to get that result and that these charities have been um, happy to partner with us. So um, yeah, major success there, um, real breakthrough, but we do need to now start raising funds so that we can get more of these units to follow up um, after people have been trained and shown how to use them and follow up so that when it comes to putting them out into communities, we've got them there in number. Um, yeah, I guess that's all for today's video. There's so much more that I want to say, but I just need to be putting more stuff up on social media um, and I'll be doing that going forward. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, cheers. I'll catch you again.